what's going on guys welcome to the channel in today's video we will be talking about the new summon companion card minerva but before we get started on the video make sure you guys comment like and subscribe and also turn that post notification bell so that you guys can always stay tuned as up to when i post new videos i'd really appreciate it and by the way you guys did amazing in my last video i don't know if it was the thumbnail i don't know but you guys did amazing you guys showed a lot of support in that last video and i really appreciate it so now that that's out the way let's get started on the video so there's a new uh summon companion card called minerva as you can see right here where is she at all right there here she is minerva mcgonagall i'm getting better with the names now you know i've been i've been practicing but this is the new summon companion card now this card just came out today like earlier this morning so this is like you know this card is pretty like pretty early and people are still testing out this card and you know seeing how to you know the character is of minerva and honestly in my opinion she's really just not that good in my in my opinion she she's not that good because one thing i notice about her is that she is really squishy like it is really easy to kill her like it's really easy to get rid of her off like if someone summons her on the battlefield you can get rid of her instantly like she has no health so i feel like this character in my opinion is a huge skip you guys should honestly save up and not summon for this character at all because she's really squishy man i'm gonna play a replay for you guys so you guys can see what i'm talking about because i don't want to you know say that a character is squishy and then you guys don't see you know how squishy she is so i want to find the replay uh i think it was let me find which one it was trying to figure out which one it was uh let me find it real quick all right, here it is. As you can see, this person is using Minerva. Here she is right here. I'm going to show you guys more, you know, details on her card. But I'm going to play this match real quick to get this out the way. But yeah, in this match, I think I lost this match. I don't know. I think I did uh, lose this match. But she, she was, she literally provided no value in his team whatsoever. She provided no value whatsoever. He spawned her and she immediately died instantly. Like she didn't do anything. So I don't know, man. She's really squishy. Really, really squishy. So this was the match. Honestly, I'm going to fast forward it for you guys so that you like I'll get to the part where this person summoned Minerva. I was getting absolutely clapped in this match okay i'm gonna play right here because i almost died and i remember that he summoned minerva but yeah she is really really squishy man i don't i don't think she's worth it i was thinking about it but after i played this match i was like yeah never mind because i feel like if she if she was like okay if she doesn't die if she wasn't squishy she'll be a really good summon companion but she just dies so quickly man oh this person didn't use it does this person even use it hmm anyways i'm gonna show you guys the details my apologies i'll show you guys the details instead so as you can see here professor mech gonago cast the transfiguration spell on all enemy units when summoned after that for each subsequent card played professor mech gonago cast transfiguration on a random enemy unit when professor mech gonago is in play she will summon a stone soldier for every eight cards you use professor mech gonago's transfiguration spell will not bounce between enemies so reading her kit so far it seems like you want to put her in a summoning team because as you can see right here this says when professor mcgonagall is in place she will summon a stone soldier for every eight cards you use so you basically want to use 
cards that have low MP. You don't want to use cards that cost like 6 MP, 7 MP, 8 MP because you won't be able to continuously spam those cards over and over again because you need to get 8 cards down when you summon her. So in order for her to be viable, you have to summon those 8 cards in order for her to summon a stone soldier. If you don't summon those 8 cards, I don't know man, she she's just she's just there. She's literally just there. She's just really squishy, man. Like, if you if you summon those eight cards down, then okay, she can do some decent damage. But the problem is, is that she might not be alive by the time you summon those eight cards down, which sucks. So, I feel like that's like the big issue with this character. She's just really squishy, man. Really, really squishy. Like, I don't know if healing her up can solve the problem because at this point, she's just, I don't know, man. Like, would it be, would it be okay to put her with Daniel Page and Daniel Page heals her up or you put Protego around her? I don't know, man. It's like, you're going to have to find a deck that solely revolves around her. You're going to have to find a deck that is focused on making her survive once you summon her. But the question is, if you make that deck, will you be able to summon not summon, but will you be able to cast eight spells in order for her to summon a stone soldier? So I don't know, man. I feel like this character is a huge skip for me because Ron Weasley has way more value than her. Ron Weasley, he, the fact, okay, the reason why Ron Weasley is so good is because Ron can turn uh, summon units into chess pieces. So let's say you're getting spammed by a bunch of summon units you could just instantly spawn ron weasley and he would turn all of them into chess pieces and you counter like that entire person's uh summon spam so i feel like ron weasley he had way more value than this because you put her on the field and she's just there she's just there like as you can see this guy he was using her and let me see uh let me go to the match right here as you can see, he won the match, but he didn't use her at all. He had zero uses of her. She was just there. So I feel like this character, yeah. Um, if you're free to play in this game and you, you know, you want to summon on the best cards, I recommend you guys to heavily skip on Minerva because she is way too squishy and she provides no value on your team whatsoever. But if you want to summon for the character because you like her, by all means, go for it. You know, I'm not going to sit here and force you guys to not summon on a character because she's not, you know, good. You know, you could summon for her if you want to. Everybody has their own opinion. Everybody could do whatever they want. But if you're heavily focused on meta and you want to, you know, be able to make it to Diamond or Grandmaster or Magic Awakened, then that card is not going to get you there. I'm going to tell you that right now. That card is not going to get you there. Because these past few matches, I've been playing a lot of diamond matches lately, and not a lot of people were using Minerva. I haven't seen, I've only seen one person so far use her card, and then everybody else just haven't, no one has been using her card at all. So, yeah, man. In conclusion, huge skip. Do not go for her. It's not worth it. If you want to go for her, by all means, go ahead. But for now, this character is a huge skip. So, yeah. I don't I don't see the point of summoning for a character that is so squishy like if if they change the uh the amount of times you have to cast a card from eight to like let's say five or six or four even she would provide some value because you would be able to cast those cards down immediately before she you know dies but the fact that you have to summon eight cards you have to cast eight spells in order for her to even you know do damage and do something it kind of sucks like I, I know she can do transfiguration but what really makes her good is the the fact that she can summon the stone soldiers but the problem is she's not going to be alive before she even you know cast that down so in this situation man i don't i don't really know man you're gonna have to make a kit that allows her to survive in order for her to you know do damage and provide some like some sort of value in your team so yeah man um 
that's my thoughts on minerva i think she's a huge skip guys if you're free to play once again don't go for her it's not worth it save up for like you know there's probably gonna be you know a new limited spell coming up and you know the next few weeks so save up for uh you know another card another spell that's coming up i recommend you guys to just save up instead that's what i'm doing right now i have like a thousand not a thousand uh 818 i wish i had a thousand but i have 818 as you can see right here i have 18 880 of those i'm gonna save up you know because i want to i want to you know i want to summon for a spell that is going to be game changing and minerva is not a game changer at all so that'll be it for the video you guys um make sure you guys comment like and subscribe in what do you guys think uh is minerva a big skip or you know is she worth it i want to see you guys' opinion but anyways uh, make sure you guys stay safe stay hydrated and i'll be seeing you guys soon peace